so that's not my prayer and you can't let somebody else's prayer make you feel like you got to pray like somebody else but you pray what's in your heart you pray the word of God if you don't know how to pray say Lord like the disciple said teach us to pray because if God teach me how to pray he's going to teach me how to pray according to the word of God God knows his word he understands your tears but he knows his word and his word will not return until you I feel the Holy Ghost his word will not return Matthew 6 and 5 says when you pray yeah. Don't be like the hypocrites, uh -huh. for they love standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets uh -huh. that they can be seen yeah. uh -huh. of men. For verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Yes. But you, when you pray, yeah. <laughs> go into your closet yeah. and shut the, the door. door and pray to your father which is in secret. And the father that sees it in secret will reward thee openly. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, so it brings me to the prayers that are offered in church. We don't know or recognize that there are certain prayers that are fit for certain circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You may not like this, but if you're doing devotional prayer, that prayer is not about you. If you come into the house, I'm not saying you can't mention yourself, but if I, this is a teaching moment, and I'm not just teaching you, I'm teaching the people that's watching also. Because when you come into a setting, your prayer is not about you, but you're praying for God to set the atmosphere in the place. You're praying for the people that's sitting in the pews. You're praying for the people that's going to be sick in worship. You're praying for the people that's standing at the door. And most of all, you're praying for the person that's going to bring the word. When you get up for devotional period, I understand everything that may be going on at your house. But that's something you need to pray in your secret time. At this moment, when you stand in front of the people. Yeah. You need to pray yeah. unselfishly. Yeah. Sometimes that's a hard thing to do. Because God, why do you want me to pray for everybody else without going to hell? Have you ever noticed that when you pray for people, God will answer your prayer? That's why he said, pray one for another. another. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 How are your prayers hindered? James offers a lot of advice to us. He said, you ask and you receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your lust. Now you would never think that a person would be sitting up in here praying for somebody else's husband. But they do. You will never think that a person would be sitting in the house of God praying for the pastor to fail because they don't like their family, but they do. People pray amiss because they're not praying the will of God. People pray their own lust. God will not entertain or receive your mess. I say you, you're doing it to consume of your own lust. And there are some things, I feel the Holy Ghost, that we may ask God for, but it's not time for, because we're not ready to handle the things that we're asking for because of what comes along with it. Like you can be asking God to give me this certain type of car. You're asking because it look good. That's a lust. That's, that's your desire. Okay. But the maintenance to go along with that car may be more than your pockets can handle. So God will not answer your prayer if what you're asking for is going to be a burden to you. Can I talk to somebody? And so, and so some women are not married right now. They asking for a husband because they see so and so married. But you ain't ready to go through what sister so and so with you better sit down somewhere. The demons that come along with dealing with a man is more than some women can handle. Some women end up on the 15th floor dealing with a Negro that don't know God. When you need 
need something from God, you better ask him according to his will. Amen. 